We have some inspiration for you on this Monday morning. Horse jumping or show jumping is an equestrian sport that is known all around the world. It's also an Olympic sport that requires a ton of training and discipline. Uh, but my next guest is doing exactly that. However, she's doing it while blind. And it's something that no other blind person has ever done at this level. We're joined right now by Ren Blaze Zimmerman. First of all, good morning to you. I want to share this amazing story. The first thing I thought about, there was this movie back in the day called Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken about a woman who goes blind while jumping on diving horses. Have you ever seen that movie or heard that movie and, and, and know the story? So I've heard about the movie. Uh, multiple people have told me to watch it, and I admit I haven't gotten around to it, but it's definitely on my list of things to watch. That is so funny. I mean, I just literally was like, she has to watch this movie. It's a beautiful movie, but your story is equally as beautiful. You lost okay. your eyesight. You were not born blind, but you lost your eyesight and then became a horse jumper and trained while blind. So first of all, how did you lose your eyesight and what made you think of doing this? Yeah, so growing up, I always had an affinity for horses. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to ride. My parents uh, couldn't afford it, and they thought it was dangerous. So when I was 17, I was a senior in high school, I got diagnosed with a rare and curable eye disease called Stargardt's macular dystrophy. And essentially, um, this, my central vision, about the size of a dinner plate, is totally blank, and then my peripheral vision is very blurry. Um, so at that point, you know, I went off to college, went off to grad school, and then I started to contemplate quality of life and happiness. And when you get a diagnosis, like this and you become blind you sort of reevaluate everything and so that's when I decided to put school on hold and pursue this lifelong dream of learning how to ride and jump oh horses and from there moved across the country to uh, Kentucky and I've been pursuing it for about the last two years seriously. that is so amazing what's the process where you know exactly where the horse needs to go or where you need to go or guide the horse yeah, so I have a very extensive process of learning my courses. Pretty much I go into the arena with an aide and I walk the quarter perimeter lines, divide the space up into a grid, and then the aide will stand with me at each jump and they'll tell me about five feet away at this angle is a blue jump, about 10 feet away at this angle is a red jump. And we have a very extensive process of walking the course, counting out the striding, where I'm supposed to turn, picking out maybe, you know, blurry points on the horizon if I can tell that there's a dip in the trees um, or if there's like a big blue blur that's a sign on the fence kind of thing. And so, again, you know, I memorize all these different things, what angles to turn at, etc. And then I have a really good mental map of where everything is once I actually go into the arena on my horse. You must lean into that memory quite a bit. We want to say thank you to joining us uh, and sharing your beautiful story. I know you're advocating thank for you making much. this an Olympic sport for athletes like yourself who are differently abled. Thank you again, Ren, for being with us. Thank you. What an amazing story, just showing that don't let anything stop you from pursuing your dream. Exactly. And the fact that she always did want to ride horses, yeah. and it just makes you think if you have a goal, you don't need to wait for a diagnosis to no. pursue it. Live your life. She is a rock star. Yes. That's, Congratulations to her. You all are rock stars. We're going to see you right back here tomorrow because we love you that much, and we appreciate each and every one of you. See you on Morning in